This is your data, a collection of information ranging from your date of birth to your computer password to your opinion on the greatest of all time. Your data belongs to you and you have the right to keep it and protect it. However, you have to share pieces of your data if you want to avail of goods and services. You cannot get paid unless you share your banking information with your employer. And the latest cute animal video will pass you by without your email address. You can reshare your data multiple times, but once shared, it's almost impossible to get back. Data protection then is about classifying your data into public information that is freely available for individuals and companies to use, reuse, distribute, and share, or private, sensitive, or confidential information that could be damaging in the wrong hands. And then ensuring that the trade-off for sharing your private data for goods and services is a fair and transparent one. You can end up sharing your data with many individuals or companies, either willingly or unwillingly. It is important that you and the organizations you share it with have strategies and processes in place to secure the confidentiality of your data. This is where security awareness and data protection regulations come in. PII stands for Personally Identifiable Information. For example, your name combined with your address. It can seem harmless to share some PII, but a cyber criminal with access to enough data can steal your identity, access your banking, or breach your organization's security. Cyber criminals will troll through social media posts, use social engineering, or even access hard copies of bank statements or correspondence to get your data. Your employer has access to a lot of your confidential data from personal contact information to disability status, to payroll, to performance reviews. In return, you may have access to your company's data, such as client details, business plans, or intellectual property. It is the responsibility of both parties to ensure the security of this data. To achieve this, employers often classify data to make it easier to find and protect, and then employ the CIA triad model when designing security procedures. Confidentiality. Access to data is strictly controlled. No authorization, no access. Integrity. The data is accurate and free from tampering. Availability. Those with authorization can access data on demand. Employees should carefully read and follow the security procedures in place and always consider the data classification before sharing information with any third party. Your PHI or personal health information is shared with healthcare companies and physicians. This is highly confidential data and must be kept secure. Revealing PHI could affect an individual's reputation, employment, or personal relationships. There is a saying in advertising, if you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. By signing up and using social media apps, you're giving those apps permission to reuse and share your data as they see fit. Your data is then sold to data collection companies who analyze it and sell it to marketing companies who target you with advertisements on those same platforms. This combined with the very public nature of all information shared through social media means it is particularly important to carefully consider what data you share online. If you do not sign up for social media, you should be safe from data collection companies harvesting your every click, right? Well, no. That click just shared data. A string of letters and numbers was copied from the website to the browser, and when revisiting the site, the presence of that cookie tells the website what you clicked. Cookies are the internet's memory. 
They were invented in 1994 by Lou Montuli, an engineer working for Netscape Navigator, the dominant web browser at the time. He was creating an online store, but received complaints that the servers were overloaded trying to store each user's shopping carts and needed a way for users to store their own carts. Cookies are still used to remember your purchases, recommend viewing, and stop you from having to prove your you every 30 seconds. The trade-off for sharing a little bit of your data seems fair and transparent, and it would be if not for third-party cookies. Tracking codes added by a third-party website that report your activity back to that third party. Your activity can then be tracked over multiple websites, categorized, sorted into demographics, and then sold to marketing companies resulting in more targeted ads. Due to the negative impact this has on your privacy, many browsers now automatically disable third-party cookies or allow you to. And some data protection regulations require websites to get consent from the user before activating any cookies. While this can seem like an annoyance, remember that you are trading a little bit of your privacy on each site you visit, and it's important that you fully understand and agree to that trade-off. This understanding and consent is part of what data protection regulations seek to enforce. Globally, there are many different regulations in effect, some at the national level, others regional, and they can protect all data or be specific to a type of data. But each regulation attempts to define and enforce your rights in relation to the privacy of your data and the responsibilities of individuals or organizations with access to your data. They also set penalties for any breach of those responsibilities. Privacy in a digital world is an ever-changing landscape, and we face new challenges every day. While some companies are abandoning third-party cookies, others are simply renaming them in the hopes of bypassing regulations. But if you follow your company's IT security guidelines and carefully consider each trade of your data, then you can ensure your confidential information is safe from theft and exploitation.